All right, here we are back in the Jeep Commander, heading to the east side of Detroit to the Hildenberg Project. It's an outsider art environment. Uh, go check it out, see what's going on, and then head into town, and then Chicago bound. <laughs> So I've been greeted by Tyrese, the artist behind the Hildenberg project, and uh, I can't say he's the most pleasant dude. Uh, he's very proud of what he's done, but uh, it seems like the rest of the street has collaborated on his vision, and that's just not good for him. Yeah, so I'm going to film more of his space and kind of cruise on down the street and see what other people are up to on this massive kind of street block collaboration. There's all these paintings of clocks all up and down the street. You can see across the street, in the trees, and I asked Tyree, What's up with all the clocks? Promptly responded, it's time for me to be here. I actually couldn't agree more. Even though Tyree was a little bit cranky, I kind of get it. Wow, he's really taken over a tremendous amount of space. It goes on and on and on. But it's nice to see things so repurposed. Things that are junk turn into art. It's a good thing. Some people like to refer to this as outsider art or visionary art or art brute. For me, I just say it's beautiful. One of these would be very cool to own. It's an intoxicating cocktail of clutter. I feel like I'm being absorbed, becoming one with my surroundings. The deeper we get in, the cooler it becomes. Tyree's beautiful world is endless. What exactly is the compulsion that drives a person to create their own environment? A broken doll's head, a stuffed animal, a pipe reinterpreted into something beautiful. I'm mesmerized. There's so much to take in. So this is the artwork of Tyree's nemesis. What are the dynamics of this relationship? How does it work? Do they inspire each other to create? Does something beautiful come out of their anger? I think they inspire each other. What inspires you? All right, after hanging out with Tyree for a little while, he's not a bad guy. I think he's just having a little bit of an off day. It's very hot out and uh, people are pestering him all day. What is this? Why do you do it? Who are you? What's going on? I kind of get it. 31 years the guy's been at it, converting trash into art, uh, building the environment in which he lives in. It's the ultimate expression of freedom, kids. Deep inside the crease, on the east side of Detroit. Detroit comes alive, running through the country. Subscribe. 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 Hey,